Recently, my lab developed a UV responsive material that actually changes colors when it's exposed to UV, so that uh, when someone's exposed to UV, they're able to tell how long they've been in the sun. So right now, we actually have what would be considered a prototype. So we're actually able to wear it uh, outside. It's waterproof, uh, sunscreen proof. We can bend it, flex it. Uh, we're able to make them in large sheets. So it's actually a tri-layer system, so it has kind of a solid, transparent uh, polymer backing. Uh, it then has an active layer, uh, which is based on uh, ortho-nitrobenzyl reactive group, and then it has a tertiary uh, polymer top, which is based on a material like bathroom caulk. Uh, so it, it goes from being completely transparent to gradually uh, yellow and kind of a dark burnt orange color. The current system is designed to complete its color change cycle after about an hour. The 10 minute marker indicates how long you've been in the sun in order to get enough vitamin D production versus 45 minutes to an hour uh, indicates you're actually in the sun too long and you're beginning to become at risk for skin cancer depending on the type of skin you have. There are many current types of UV sensors. Uh, however, the majority of them rely on power, uh, so they need batteries, where they're very fragile because of the microelectronic circuitry inside. Um, ours is completely power-free. Uh, again, it's like a Band-Aid, um, so you can you know, wear it, throw it away. These time points were designed based on World Health Organization suggestions of how long people should be in the sun uh, on a weekly basis. Thank you.